Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and this is RimWorld. We are back at the Hussar in High Maid Colony. If you're joining us for the very first time, there is a link to the playlist down in the description, but essentially this colony started off with four pawns, two High Mates and two Hussars. Unfortunately, Cinderman is not the original Hussar, but we got a generational colony going after that. In fact, the only other pawn besides those original four is Vaz, who was not born here. This gentleman joined us after a really successful ritual. We got lucky and got ourselves a high mate. Now, of course, this is just a self-imposed rule here, you know, and we could break it at any time. And quite honestly, I've been thinking about getting a furry or two here under our board, the Etakin Xenotype, because they're obviously really good with animals. And we're literally having uh, our some of our thrombos go wild reverting to their wild status because we can't keep them trained up enough for one thing one of our animal handlers is out on a caravan but she's not even good enough to do it yeah in fact the real problem is there's only one animal handler high enough to to deal with the uh thrombos and she's also one of our like three planters so i mean just the normal type of issues that a colony with a small population has another thing i've considered is a bit of the old mechanator action to help us with the, some of the labor but before we do that we really do need to deal with the power situation so obviously there's a whole string of things we've got going on but you might have caught a glimpse there we've also got ourselves a siege in action so there's a couple of Etikin and out here, but um, no, in the last episode, these guys obviously dropped in on us. Um, we've got a few different options to deal with them. And funnily enough, I think the best way to do it is with Shay. Yeah, so I'm going to get Shay out here. Now she, like everybody else, is restricted to the safe zone, which is just behind our walls. But I'm going to grab her because she is, in fact our royal pawn now first things for first before we head out into the wilderness she's gonna have to get herself a little go juice action because i want her on her speediest when she's out there and of course she's already already got a reduction in movement and stuff because of her stupid psychic bond distance thing but was that a freaking wait was that a mortar oh holy crap they already got one up damn that was super fast yeah, I kind of hit the pause button there when I was doing my introduction, but no worries. Let's get the kids. Everybody wake up, folks. You got fires to put out. But no, this is going to be even more imperative. We get Shay out there. So, boom. Okay, she's got her go juice. Let's bring her out this direction. And luckily, they're not super far. They're just up here. So, she can probably literally stand just behind one of these trees and hit them with some of her permit stuff so let's get that set up before they rain destruction on us too much more whoa that was crazy so uh, did they run out of shells or something they're literally assaulting the colony and shay hasn't even done anything she's not even there yet they just up and decided to assault us no look there's still shells on the ground they still got a i don't know what the hell is going on they're still shooting at us too they hit us one more time over here I might as well grab everybody, just get them all ready here to fight a little fire. Not you, Shay. You stay where you're at. Because I think we're still probably going to call down... Ugh, I wanted to do the aerodrome strike while they were all in one place. But honestly, with them coming across the river, it might be just as effective. Oh, she's got such a good range on it. All right, let's let things develop. I just want to see... All right, all right, Shay. I wonder if this is going to be reduced because it's in the water. Let's see what happens. Come on, baby. Do it, do it, do it. Is she doing it? Oh, okay. She did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fall back, Shay. Fall back. I might have her still call. There it is. Oh, dear God, get inside. I might have her still do the Janissary strike, but... Oh, was that it? Oh, we missed it. Well, it was there briefly. I thought it was one of those that, like, powered up a bit. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Sorry, guys. That was my bad. But we're going to just go ahead and call the Janissaries, I think. Question is, should we call them now or should we wait till the raid gets inside the compound, till they come through? I think we'll wait, honestly. Let's bring Shay inside. All right, get inside, Shay. All right, they're still putting out the fire. They're, they're still going to be shooting at us, too. But we're going to have to get everybody lined up. All right, there's that. 
And, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Please don't kill anybody. That would be worst case scenario, obviously. All right, so that was just a straight up destruction type. Let's bring them all together over here in a room just for safety reasons. Now we get to see our little double tunnel in action and we do have full, uh, what's it called, full traps up. So this should soften them up quite a bit. I have a feeling we will still need our Janissary squad, but this is gonna help out a ton. That sucks that all of her permits are gonna be on cooldown now, but we'll just see. We'll have to deal with whatever threats we get. All right, how we doing, how we doing? Remember, at some point too, they're probably gonna retreat here if they lose enough people. We might get lucky. I've got Shay ready though. She's got, she's out here behind the wall and she can call her her Janissary friends. All right. I don't know. Hold on. Let's check. All right. Good. They've laid off the fire. Perfect. Speaking of fire. Oh. A little explosive action. What was that? Okay. Here we go, folks. Um, damn. I don't know. I don't want to waste that Janissary squad. There they go. Okay. They're fleeing. Oh, Christ. They're going to flee right through the compound. Let me think here. We got a shield. That's not... Damn. Damn, damn, damn. There isn't that many of them, but they're still coming all this way. Yep, we need to call them in. We're going to have to. In fact, I'm going to move her down here to get that smoke pop sh ability she's got. But let's go ahead and call the squad first. Oh, Lord. Okay, come on down, Shay. Pop your little smoke and then get behind the walls. Oh, look, Strong's already getting shot up. Damn. I should have popped it earlier, huh? Now our people are taking some serious hits. All right, Shay, run inside. Okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. It's hard. It's like nearly impossible to tell who is retreating and who is part of the Empire at this point. They're all blue. They're all blue. Now, I think the very slightly darker blue color is our allies. Let's kind of move back here. Pick off these dudes as they try and break through the door. Oh, shit. One of them's got a shotgun. Come on now. Thank God there's so many of them still. These Janissaries better be doing some work. Okay. Okay. Now, those are old injuries. She's going to be fine, I hope. Let's see. Let's... um. Let's move behind these trees right here. Getting them a little closer, though. Ugh, yeah, hold on. Let's pull them back for a second. God damn. I'm almost... Oh, Lady B. I'm almost tempted to drop that shield now, too. Get back, Lady B. Get back. Look at our look at our allies. See, they're the smart ones taking cover and stuff. Jesus. I should just let these guys escape. Just break our doors down, you know. Lady V, don't die. Don't die. She's got those gut worms. That's not helping matters. All right. Yeah, they're just going to break through the doors. Who cares at this point, right? All right. We'll let the uh, Janissaries mop up. I'm going to try and bring her around. Get her in the hospital right away. Oh, boy. What a disaster. She's still shooting as she's going. Just go through the damn door already. You. Okay. There we go. Shit. Uh, Lady V. To the last. She fights. Oh, okay. So I think that's officially it. And I don't, at this point, I don't even care about prisoners, man. Here I was in the last episode talking about how weak that siege was and how non-threatening it was. Well, guess what? That was a disaster. Yeah, I really popped that Janissary squad a little bit too late. Had I done it slightly earlier, they would have been the main target for the Raiders and we could have just sat back and pelted them. That would have really changed the balance of things. But uh, we didn't lose anybody, so at least yet. Well, they took down my other door. Oh my god, we just caught a literal social fight in action. Guys, this is not the time. Oh, this is happening more and more. It's crazy. And it's always these two, of course, the Hussars, the pure blood of Hussars. It's, you know what it is? Strong just does not like Cinderman. For whatever reason, he is on her you-know-what list. But, um, okay, as long as they don't freaking kill each other. Now, literally, though, if we look 
uh, yeah, he lost his thumb in the last social fight or one of the social fights previously. I was just going to show you guys the Raiders broke my door down. But these two are out here trying to kill each other. It's just like I say, not the time for it, guys. I did get the doors down here rebuilt. I always prioritize that kind of thing. You know, we got lucky too. As you can see, I got lazy and I didn't construct the, the securing walls around our little power cells, which we acquired fairly recently. I don't think this is a great spot for that one right by the hospital. But uh, nonetheless, I need to, we got lucky there. Like I said, we might have accidentally gotten hit by one of those raiders. This isn't even perfect. Some of these are not in great spots. This one's kind of okay. Over here by the river, shouldn't be too much of a threat if it blows up, but anyway, just a side note there. Let's see, oh, an ambrosia sprout. Thank God, just what we needed. Ooh, we did get a shaman merchant though, so hopefully these guys will have a shock lance or an insanity lance or both. That would be very helpful. Oh man, well I was looking for a good pawn to use as a trader because all my traders are either injured or they've got negative buffs on them for whatever reason. And I noticed little Waxana here with a 17 uh, social skills. So right out of birth, man, she was, I think she was pretty high, yeah, from birth, literally. That's what you get. She is a pure-blooded high mate too. I forgot to mention that when I was talking about the other one. Actually, she was just a test tube baby, yeah, so... Her mother and father are Shay and Vaz, I believe. And it does show that. Yeah, Sarah Shay and Vaz. So a little bit of a forced birth, so call it, just because I wanted that extra high mate. I thought that'd be cool. But uh, okay, here we go. So we've got ourselves a little trade action. Let's see what we can do. All right, pretty pricey trade here for just two items. Negative 1,500 silver for the Pulsar and the Insanity Lance. So that Lance is the big one. I've already got a couple Pulsars, but my motto is you can't have too many of these consumables. So where the hell did they drop them? Oh, their animals are just straggling in here. So God only knows where they just dropped that thing. One way, and I've done this before, but this is one of the reasons I love this mod so much. The weapons mod here, super helpful, just for like comparing and contrasting weapons, or also extremely helpful for finding items that you can't keep track of. So if we go to apparel, there's the insanity lance. We click on it, and boom. Okay, they dropped it right here and said my little grow zone. All right, no problem. Now let's see. Actually, I want to get somebody to equip this right away. Cinder Man, get up here, sir. You're going to force equip that Insanity Lance right away. Oh boy, it is a celebration. The guys are back. Actually, Sass is a girl and Clarissa is a girl. The girls are back, ladies and gentlemen. So they brought back another lance for us if we look real quick one of them's got it i hope yeah there we go so we got a second psychic shock lance and a second death rest capacity serum so we sent them out to fulfill a trade request quest um anyway and they did so so we've got those two items back now we don't actually have a sanguifage to level up as i mentioned i do have another one of these so we're kind of starting to stockpile but my idea initially was since we've got this dude that shay is in love with his name is bar snoke or whatever he is, where is it at? There it is. So he is just an Imperial member. He's a, he's a baseliner. And I was thinking, I need to go ahead and recruit him as soon as we get our guest house up and running again. But once we do, you know, they can get married, settle down, have kids. But I'm pretty sure, I think what I'm going to try and do is get him in, infected, so to speak, with the Sanguifage virus or however you want to say it, so that, you know, we can use those on him. Now, worst comes to worst, I might trade them if we're desperate, but I'm just going to sit on those for a while, like I say, and try and get us a Sanguifage at some point. I have no idea when that's going to happen. Dang, bro, I just noticed they busted down another door while they were in here. And, I mean, that is kind of the point of the doors themselves, so that they're lured to go that direction, outward, and not into the compound. Didn't work out that well in the last one, but uh, still, nonetheless, we got to seal off every one of these little points. Otherwise, they come in and they go do 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 right through there, only hitting like six traps total. So, I'm glad I noticed that for sure. 
Oh boy, hey, hey, we've got a growth moment for our man Arslan. There he is, 10 years old. Wait, that's an odd time, is that right? Yeah, uh, yeah. And then he should have his final one at 13. So already he's a pretty super pawn. Let's see. Oh, animals. Yeah, we're going to be doing that. Hold on. Let's. I like to choose my trait first. Trigger Happer and Nimble, obviously. I guess Hygienic wouldn't be terrible, but I'm not using that. Nimble, possibly. is What is he? Yeah, he's hyper-aggressive. Okay, he can fight. He's also delicate, but that's okay. Nimble, delicate, hyper-aggressive. Look at his shooting. Oh, my God. You know what? No, we're going trigger-happy with that kind of shooting. I mean, if it's a better melee, I'd say Nimble's probably not bad, but dangies. All right, so we only get two skills for a passion. That's kind of low, low-end, unfortunately, but them's the breaks. Let's see. Mining, shooting. No, it doesn't need the shooting passion. Definitely going for animals, and we'll double up the mining. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, where are you at, my boy? Because for one thing, Liu needs to be put at the end. Welcome back, Sass. Welcome back. Now, let me see here. What I want to do is jump into that work tab and not baby. I'm not worried about baby. Arslan, are you able, sir, to get over here and work on the animals? Yes, you are. I need to get a couple of dogs or something just so that they can handle you know, those animals get their training up a bit more. Because I think they get a little skill when they come in here and, like, shear the muffalo. But, honestly, I don't think that's enough, you know. So, a couple, of, like, easy animals to train. Like, intelligent trainables. That would probably help things out tremendously. Look at all the dang turkeys we got. I think we're falling down on our slaughtering bills, too. Because I've got them all set. I made sure, you know, to go in here. Of course, not for the thrombos, but... We should only have one male, two young, six female young. Maybe that's what the problem is. That's kind of high. Let's just do two as a backup. Yep, there we go. So when it turns red, you know that it's over that number and they're going to get slaughtered. So just trying to be a little bit more conservative with my animal count, especially now that we got a buttload of thrombos because these boys will eat you out of house and home. Well, this corpse pile is getting mighty, mighty thick here, but that's okay. I've got it nestled away behind this hill, as you can see, just outside the doors, of course. But I also almost forgot about this here. We've got a little bit of loot to come get, and we better grab it before Randy sends another mech cluster or something at me. God forbid. Oh boy, look at this. We got ourselves a transport pod crash. Been a while. Unfortunately, this is a member of our allies faction. Andy's a pyromaniac uh slothful pyromaniac 70 years old he is a full-blooded hussar though so i mean theoretically we could take him but no i mean of all the hussars i've seen he's definitely not going to be the best but let's see so if we go ahead and get him rescued though we should get a, he's not too far if we get him rescued we should get a little bit of faction influence from that so quit practicing your martial arts and get down here and rescue this old policeman well, you know what? Speaking of the transport pod crash reminded me that I did actually pick up a prisoner from that last drop, uh, siege raid that we had. Giggles. Old Giggles the waster. Unfortunately, Giggles is unwaveringly loyal, but I'm actually going to keep this girl around here. She's not a bad pawn. Delicate, but um, keep her around to trade away, probably, to the Empire seller, the guy, the slave trader, whatever you want to call him. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. I've forgotten what this little... Ar oh, that's right. Arthur was bound to be our, our fighter, right? He. Oh, no, 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 no. That was the other kid. Yeah, that was the kid we just had grow up. Little baby. Wait. Oh, I didn't name his nickname either. Hold on. Baby? Wait, what? I thought it was... Oh, so it was Arthur who was named here. Oh, okay. I'm getting confused by the names. Well, we've got a little one running around the colony named Baby, so I'm going to have to change that. Okay, there we go. So since this little guy is a hybrid of the finest order, he is going to be a hyper-aggressive, no delicate, unstoppable, reduced pain, super... So he's basically a hussar, but... I mean, he's not. He's a hybrid. But nonetheless, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and name him Hercules. Seems like an apt title for him. You know what? Forget about that. We're not doing Hercules. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead and rename this child to Wrench. 
That's right. I was just remembering that I've got that request. Now, originally, I, we had a child named Wrench who got killed. And I talked about resurrecting the poor little girl. I think, yeah, female. But as I said previously, I feel like a mech resurrector serum's almost a waste on a child. Not to say they couldn't potentially become a really good pawn and colonist at the time, but, you know, I, we're probably going to have other fatalities, you know, at some point with an adult. So if we ever do get a mech resurrector serum, I'll probably save it for somebody who's a bit more mature and like a pawn that is really critical to the colony. But um, with that said, we'll just rename Little Hercules to Wrench. There he is. So Wrench, I hope you're happy, buddy. Like I said, he is turning out to be an incredible fighter. In fact, one thing we can do with Wrench, go into his work tab real quick, sort this out. No, you're not going to be selling. But see, this training here is added from one of our particular recreation mods. I'll show that in a second. But if I turn this up a little bit, also, come here, buddy. Let's get you some other jobs if i set this to oh we'll do it as a three he'll train on the melee oh it's right there in the room night stem. yeah so he'll come in here and train on the martial arts target and if i were to theoretically set up a shooting target which i should probably go ahead and do okay let me figure out what textile i have Okay, here we go. So I'm going to use some plain leather for this baby. But these things are actually really cool. The pawns love them just for straight recreation. And they don't even need to be set necessarily to the training. Because you can see none of them are set to it. If you just want to prioritize it, then that's what this is for. Like with our little wrench, we're going to train him up real good. But these things are good for recreation. And they do train the shooting of your pawn as well when they're enjoying themselves. I like to, if I have embrasures going, I like to kind of set it up. Actually, let's not put it there. I got a better idea. Put it up here so that, yeah, this is out in the water. Hopefully raiders won't be as tempted to destroy it, but you can see that the little green rectangle at the bottom there, that's where the pawns will stand when they shoot. That's what it's telling you. And so if you put it just a little sliver of it right here inside, boom, they'll have to build a little bridge under it, but that's okay. And now that our pawn, our pawns will stand in the safety of the walls behind these embrasures when they're practicing on it. So you can even set up a couple of them too if you want. Because like I said, these are very popular. The pawns will come and work on these. And that includes this as well in their off time. I mean, I, literally they do it more often than the chess table. I almost never see pawns use chess table. But you'll quite often see them over here practicing martial arts. Okay, looks like our boy Romanos, cool name, he's on his way out. Does his beard look like it doesn't quite fit his face perfectly? <laughs> it's just the profile, he's just got a, he's got a indented chin, the poor fellow. But uh, nonetheless, like I said, we should see a little notification when he exits the map. If the old boy can make it off there safely. And we'll get, I don't know, like a 12 bonus. Oh, you know what? That reminds me, dude. I totally forgot about this transport pod. So we set this up in the last one to obviously with a bunch of stuff to hopefully make friends with a nearby. Oh, oh crap. I'm hitting the wrong thing. Crap. So I thought that was the ones that had had not been loaded. Oh, dang it. Well, well, well. Okay, I screwed it up. So we've still got a long way to go before this thing's fully loaded. But did I end up selling those? No, it's all still here. There's just not a lot of labor right now, which is unfortunate. I think the kids are just busy cleaning up a lot of blood. <laughs> but uh, they'll get to it eventually. Anyway, so the intended target for this here, let me show you. Okay, here we are on the world map. Um, this is actually the same faction we just sent our trade quest to. And it's a uh, modded faction. So this is a pirate faction that you can actually become neutral and then even ally with the grasshoppers. But um, they're added by the v uh, vanilla pirates expanded mod which is pretty cool i like it so far my first time playing with this particular factions expanded and it's good it adds some interesting items as well not to mention there's also the ability which i always forget about but our boy wrench can show us right here hire pirates i need to take advantage of this oh dude this could this could literally change the tide of battle for us 
Long-term contracts are significantly more expensive. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to put like a post-it on my monitor to remind me next time we get a raid or something, at least to just test it out, see how this whole system functions too. And that brings me to this other item right here in case you're wondering. This is like a stock market. It's in the mod uh, kit or the mod pack I should say down in the description below it's listed if we look at it I'll show it specifically what it's called vanilla trading expanded so it's part of the vanilla mods but it basically opens like a whole bunch of stuff stock market you can do contracts which is like selling in bulk essentially I think we haven't experimented with this enough either. That's something I should try. I like to, with each of my series, throw in new mods that I've personally never played with. Like, for instance, the Dubs Bad Hygiene. You know, just to kind of add some new flavor for me as well. Okay, there we go. 26 to 41 faction influence from our boy Romano. So, that was pretty good. And I also decided to go ahead and just bump up the hauling or make it equal to cleaning. So... We might have some blood pools left over, but at least we'll get this thing hauled up a little quicker. Oh man, look at this quest here. Another death rest capacity serve. That could be three, but they want three colonists for 16 days of 13 years or older. I guess I could send them three non-violence, but I, just because they're non-violent doesn't mean they're crucial to the running of the colony, you know? I don't know where we'd be without Vaz here helping us out with the traps and stuff and throwing down some floor tiles here and there. He's actually becoming quite a good construction pawn. I'm loving him for sure. But, uh, oh, I forgot he's a psychopath too. Wait a second. So, it looks like this is grayed out, doesn't it? Like, is that not active? Suppressed. This trade has been suppressed. You see it at the bottom? It conflicts with the genetic trait and will not be active. So it conflicts with kind. Very interesting. So essentially he's not a psychopath. Now that's weird because we didn't develop this guy at all. Or he wasn't born here as I mentioned. He just came to us thanks to a ritual. But very interesting. I did not notice that initially. I thought he was like the first psychopathic high mate I'd ever seen. But uh, anyway, I'm starting to think we're getting enough stone maybe to lay a bit more bridge here dare i give it a try it actually takes a whole buttload though but um i want to try and keep it consistent with the granite because if i lay a bunch of sandstone it might be a different color well it certainly will be a different color but what i think i'm going to do then is let's see here let me find where it's at i've already forgotten okay here it is it's been so long since i placed uh, the last bridge section it just takes a whole lot of stone here. So yeah, we're not even going to have enough sandstone for this, but at least we can get started. And if I, I think if I make like the little offshoots, sandstone or marble or whatever, and make the primary bridge granite, that'll still look cool. You know, that'll look good. So that's going to be our little sand, one of our little sandstone platforms. And this tiny one here, I imagine would be something like um, a royal bedroom that we just charge out to a guest or a couple of guests for an exorbitant amount, like 500 silver or something, just to see you know, how much we can push it. But of course, that'll take a lot of wealth, a lot of decoration. And you know, don't forget too, in terms of the spacing here, we've still got to add walls around the perimeter of all of this, essentially. So this entire structure is going to be walled off. So, you know, if we do get a raid, they can't just wander right onto our boardwalk from the river, you know. So that's that's something to keep in mind, too. It's part of the reason why these are extra wide right here. Well, as we go about planning for the future of the colony, you can see that we've got many, many patients here with the flu, gut worms. So Randy's doing his very best to keep us down, guys. But don't you worry. We're going to keep going, keep progressing, moving right on forward. And I think that's going to do it for today's episode. But I do appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. I really, really enjoy sharing the RimWorld game with you, especially this particular colony. It's been a lot of fun so far. Challenging, but fun. So hit that like button for me if you are enjoying it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And also, I do have a Discord server 
server. If anybody out there would like to join and discuss RimWorld or any of the other games that I play here on the channel, feel free to check the description below and join. We have a small but friendly community. But anyway, big shout out to y'all and I will see you on the next one.